Warning, the following video is a satire. It is not to be taken seriously by anyone, anywhere. If you can't take a joke, don't watch this video. If you don't like foul language, do not watch this video. You have been warned. If you choose to watch this video, you understand the rights that you have and don't have. You have the right to enjoy it. You have the right to hate it. You do not have the right to complain about the fact that it has foul language and that it could be offensive. I told you, this is a satire. It's a joke. Alright, bitches. Welcome back. Let's try to get through the rest of this shit. Hopefully we can finish. Hopefully these videos will be more entertaining. Because I'm not recording at 3 in the fucking morning. The only time when my internet will fucking work. I'm gonna slog through this. Alright. Now we're on module 3. They're asking what's important to me. Setting goals is an important part of college and life in the real world. Even just to get to college, you had to plan, apply, figure out a way to pay. In this section, we're going to try drafting statements about my goals for my next year of college. It's asking me what factors or decisions related to alcohol could influence your ability to reach your goals while you're in college. They can either help you or hinder you. You get drunk all the time, you ain't know where the fuck you are. And that ain't good for you. But anyway... It's giving me a bunch of choices that check off each box so that the statements best reflect your personal goal. Pick the goals that are most meaningful to you. Alright. So this year, I really want to focus on either my schoolwork, relationships, fitness and health, sports, community service, or extracurricular activities. Well... Jeez, it's very limited, but I suppose it covers a broad range of topics. Whatever. Ah, uh, let's pick sports, schoolwork, relationship, health, and fitness. Shit, I might as well check all of them. There's only two left. Because I want to get a great job, internship, prepare for graduate school. Be a good friend and a roommate. Be a good boyfriend, girlfriend. Be a good teammate. Look and feel my best. Help others in need. Be a good role model. Meet new people. Learn new things. Let's go through each one of them. Get a great job, an internship. Who doesn't fucking want that? Nothing's free. We gotta work for it. Gotta get a job. Gotta get paid. Prepare for graduate school. If you're gonna go to graduate school, that's good. You gotta prepare. Shit's hard, from what I hear. Be a good friend or roommate. That's nice, being a good friend. Being a good roommate, it's cleaning up after your fucking messes. Don't leave dishes piling up. If it's your turn to take out the trash, you take out the motherfucking trash. God. Be a good boyfriend, girlfriend. Alright. Be a good one. Don't be stupid. Be a good teammate. I guess if you're on a team, you have to be a good teammate. It's not all about you. It's about the team. Unless it's an individual sport like tennis. In that case, it's all about you. Don't fuck up. Look and feel my best. Oh, I feel fine right now. Probably look like crap, but I feel fine. That's all that matters. Help others in need. I could do that. But I'm in need. I gotta get paid. 
be a good role model. If you've been watching these videos, it's pretty clear that I ain't a good role model. Or maybe I am. Maybe I'm just making all this shit up. Just to try to be entertaining. Meet new people. Fuck new people. I hate them. I hate all people I haven't already met. I hate people in general. Learn new things. Well, that's what school is for, isn't it? To learn shit. We figured out our list. Or at least half of it. When it comes to drinking, I want to continue to not drink. Well, yeah. I have made a point to say throughout this entire series that I don't drink. I don't see myself starting anytime soon. Unless I don't finish this alcohol EDU soon, then I might start. Ad options are stop drinking, cut back on drinking, make good decisions, take care of my body, stay safe, watch out for others. Well, I gotta do that. Definitely gotta watch out for others. So I got people who get fucked up. They get fucked up. And I gotta make sure they don't die. Because I don't want to only focus on drinking, get in trouble, disappoint people, fall behind in school, develop health problems, damage relationships, embarrass myself, put myself at risk, put my friends at risk, regret what I did. Well, obviously, I want to get in trouble doing something stupid, like some fuckers, you do stupid things. You stupid bitches! Stay in your room. Don't get caught. fall behind in school, I'm paying out the ass for this, so I better get something out of it, embarrass myself, I don't want to embarrass myself, have people draw on my face, or post videos online of me doing something stupid, and there's also an option where you can write your own little message to yourself, and now it is put in a letter, my personal goals, highlighting all the things that I checked, alright, we're on to step two of module three, making plans, you gotta make plans to get paid, you bitch, you've got the goals, but to accomplish anything in life, you need a fucking plan, you need to know what you're gonna do, can't just make shit up like MacGyver. I ain't smart enough for that. You probably ain't either, so don't judge me. Without a plan of action, even the best goals will go unfulfilled. In this section of the course, we will walk you through the process to develop a personalized plan to make or to continue to make good decisions about alcohol. If you want to make good decisions about alcohol, I'm sure one of your friends is a connoisseur of alcohol and they can tell you to make the best choices but that's not what they're telling us they're telling us to make plans first you need to make a choice would you like to create a plan for a drinker or a non-drinker as a non-drinker your plan could focus on things how to stay committed to your goals and how to help friends who drink I am the designated driver of my group I'm also the one that makes sure I record all of the other people doing the stupid shit that they do. Why? Because they need to know. They need to know. We're going to choose a plan for a non-drinker. Let's see what it has. On each of the following pages, select the strategy that you can use to help accomplish each objective. Choose strategies that you think you can use in real life. In order to stay committed to my choice of not drinking, I will find ways to remind myself of my goals, surround myself with people who understand or share my goals, or I can skip it. I'm going to surround myself with people who share my goals, I guess. I know a lot of people who drink, it doesn't really bother me. Next page. In order to know how to turn down a drink and not have anyone else think twice about it, I will 
Personally, I will tell them I don't drink. Back to fuck off. That usually does it. Well, let's see what they've got. Try using a big excuse for not drinking. Like, I'm fine right now. Give a good excuse, even if it's not quite real, which means lie. I've been trying to lose weight, I'm on medication, I've got X to do tomorrow. I'm a designated driver. Hold another non-alcoholic drink. I'll use all of those things. I like lying. Tell people to get off my back. Say like I gotta be somewhere. In fact, I don't gotta be anywhere. Just cause I wanna get away from you. <laughs>